welcome back to Dark Corner's Physical Media Reviews. Are you trying to tell us the house is haunted? This week we're looking at another Blu-ray box set from Australian boutique label Via Vision. 1944's The Uninvited is a supernatural mystery based on a novel by Dorothy McArdle and starring Ray Milland. I think it's fair to see shades of Val Luton here, alongside a hint of Rebecca. There it was a goddess. But the film also has a delightful wit, which it's tempting to ascribe to the presence of producer Charles Brackett, longtime writing partner of Billy Wilder, and who had also written for Ernst Lubitsch. Between you and me and the grand piano, I suspect father was a bit of a bad hat. The wit also provides a great contrast to the dark subject matter which gets darker and creepier. The supernatural content bolstered by some really impressive special effects. The best of which we are keeping under wraps, as did UK censors at the time. But the simple stuff is just as evocative. And despite being shot on a very studio backlot version of an English village, the gothic atmosphere is well maintained throughout. A lot of the film's success, and this is a really good film, is down to the writing. I wanted to see the dawn with her. The screenplay by, somewhat improbably, Dodie Smith of 101 Dalmatians fame, assisted by a more experienced screenwriter in Frank Partos. I wonder if Mary's death could have been murder. It's been hinted at all right. It's well paced, well balanced, and the decision to keep the central pairing of Milan's Roderick Fitzgerald and Ruth Hussey's Pamela as brother and sister rather than a love interest pays dividends in the dynamic between them. Oh, Rick, it isn't as if you were even a good music critic. Well, thank you very much. It's easy to follow them wherever they go because they're great company. We could hold a seance. Horrible idea, but I don't mind. It's one of those films that deserves to be better known, but those who do know it, love it. It comes from everywhere and nowhere. It was successful enough to make a brief star of Gail Russell, who would play the lead in the following years, The Unseen. A sort of follow-up with the same director, Lewis Allen, and this time based on a novel by Ethel Lena White. I'm your new governess. We've got a governess. This is more of a standard mystery, still tinged with Luton, but this time by a turn of the screw. Sadly, though, the central relationship is more stock. I like your smile, the way your hair falls out of place. Despite the presence of sometime screwball writer Hagar Wilde, this has little of the lightness of the uninvited. That's where they belong, behind bars. And despite the presence of Raymond Chandler, the mystery doesn't really ignite either. There were behind-the-scenes problems. Allen insisted that he did not clash with producer John Houseman, but in his autobiography, Houseman referred to Allen as an uninspired English hack with whom I found it impossible to communicate on any level, which doesn't sound cordial. It's beautifully shot by Charles Lang, another Billy Wilder connection, as, by the way, is John Seitz, who shot The Uninvited, and who was also the favoured cameraman of Rex Ingram in the 1920s. The print for The Uninvited is excellent, while the Unseen's new 2K scan of the original camera negative is a huge improvement on any previous release. Though, it is a shame that the restoration didn't extend to removing the specks and imperfections throughout the film. Well, I'll... I'll go and get the sweep. Extras include video essays on both films and on Gail Russell, and expert commentaries from Alan K. Road. The Uninvited was offered to Hitchcock, who turned it down, and to James Whale, who was rejected by studio boss Buddy De Silva. There are also a pair of radio adaptations of The Uninvited, with Ray Milland reprising his role, a fascinating flashback to a time when this was pretty common practice. The Hollywood screen directors present a tale for troubled midnights. The motion picture drama, The Uninvited, starring Ray Milland in his original role of Rick Fitzgerald. Overall, The Unseen is fine but unengaging, but The Uninvited is unmissable. Don't ask any more. Thanks for watching. Have you seen either of these films? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, along with any other favourites of Ray Milland.